Hi YouTube. So we're doing a bird feeder today. Uh, a lot of it we kind of started beforehand uh, just to make it easier and quicker but we'll show you all the steps along the way. So here's basically what you'll need. You'll want a large plate. Um, this one's a serving tray thing. They also have chargers. We got all of this at Dollar Tree. Um, but that'll be the top. We already cut it because uh, we were down with my dad and he has a tool to cut those. You want a big container, uh, something to have the bird seed go on the sides of it and not just pile in the middle. And if it has a hole like this vase, you need something to cover it. A bottom plate that's smaller than the top plate. That'll blue. hold the bird seed. Yeah. And then glue to glue it all together. And then you'll need scissors or something like that to cut things. You can cut this with scissors or, or uh, an razor exacto blade. knife. We did that with our first one. Um, but it did cause a lot of additional cracks. Yeah. So real quick. Here was our attempt number one. Um, you can see some of the cracks there as we were cutting with the exacto knife. So again, it will work, but it may damage the plate. Uh, this and is we cut the holes too big. Yeah. Uh, but there you can kind of see the uh, divider in the middle. In this situation, we found a diamond-shaped. Uh, trinket thing trinket thing if you can find that that's absolutely perfect it has no hole in the top yeah. but also we did try to put it to hang but it is too heavy when you put seed in it so it's not one to hang and we haven't figured out what to do with it besides just set it on the railing which as you can see though the birds don't mind because this was completely full and but this one not. is a two quart container the one we'll be using today is a three quart container um, it's the same uh, diameter, uh, but it is taller. And the reason we got this one instead of the other one is the Blue Jays, Stellar Jays, Stellar Jays that we have in the area do not like the short one because they're hitting the top of their head feathers on it. So we're hoping getting a slightly taller one will make them happier. And if you can find a wreath form, they have the wire wreath forms. The smaller plates will fit on top of it and then it'll kind of like stick up if you put it upside down so the birds can land on it. Like if you could find a pole to put in the ground and then attach it to a pole and then have that for the birds to land on, that would be really good. But we don't have the wire wreath form that we had bought. <laughs> but so for now we'll put everything else together and that way you get a basic idea. So, first things first, um, I would say let's glue that close, which is just super simple. Um, just a dab of glue and get one of those flat marble things. Again, all of this is from Dollar Tree. Even having to get scissors, it should cost you under 10 bucks, unless you're looking to get something fancier well to mount it on like if you're gonna go to a hardware store and get some kind of pole then that'll probably cost you over 10 bucks but that's the or if you get like e6000 glue and not just this fix all adhesive yeah but that's the easiest part the next part um would be cutting the hole in the top but again we've already oops but again we've already done that um and i'll show some of us filming how we did that so next step would be cutting the holes into the next step would be us cutting the holes into give me the container again we are using an exacto knife if you don't have one a simple knife and a pair of scissors will work but we found this to work a little bit easier uh, we're just kind of free form cutting but if you want to get like a stencil of like a semicircle, uh, don't make the same mistake we did. Make sure you are making them small enough 
or else too much cord seed will come out. Uh, especially when it's full, it was almost going over the edges, which of course the birds don't mind, but. Mm -mm. Just put glue all over the base and stick it down. The problem with this glue is it takes about 24 hours to dry, maybe even longer. We did try super glue and that did not work at all. Yeah, super glue won't connect. I would use hot glue, but since it's gonna be outdoors, every time I've ever used hot glue, if it gets wet at all, it immediately falls apart. And we're in the southwest where temperatures are regularly above 100 come the summer. And so if you do have hot glue, that's probably going to just to melt the fire. Well, we normally don't get... Not where we're at, but... Yeah. Our high here is like 90. No, we got to like 99. Yeah. Yeah, you can put that in to hold it down. And we're going to leave it to dry for a bit. And then we'll be back later to glue the inside in. And glue the top on. Let's see. That'll fit nicely. Yeah. And then you glue around it also to, like, waterproof it. You put the glue all the way around. We'll show you. And then you glue your middle part down as close to the center as you can get which might not be as centered as you want because there is a ridge in these I'm not sure why there's a ridge but there is Meow. You get to be in the video this time. Uh -uh. And then because that was the rest of that glue, I'm going to open a new one and fill in because we're trying to keep the water from sitting there since that's basically the weatherproofing. I don't know yet if it'll hold water like in the base if we need to drill holes because we haven't had rain since we built it. Let's see, the hard thing is trying not to move the tray that you just stuck down. Because the hole we made is actually a little too big, but that was the bit size that my dad had. And it was easier to let him cut it than it was to try to cut it ourselves. Yep. Yeah, because again, as you saw earlier, uh, when we cut it ourselves, it did create cracks, which ain't a big issue, but it took a whole lot of time where probably the time it took me to do one in half that time it probably took him to do all four probably even less time because I think the only difficult one he had with was just the first one mm -hmm. and then all you got to do is let it dry once it's dry you fill it up with your seeds and you put the lid on which I'm not putting on right now because we don't want it to get in the glue and then you put it out for the birds and they really like it and we'll see if we can actually get some video of them, at least with the smaller one. Did they ever take their chicken feeders? Nope. Maybe you need to put the chicken food in that around the bird feeder and block the chickens with chicken. This is attempt number one. Uh, the shorter one. These birds seem to not mind that it is shorter. Uh, the holes are a lot well, bigger. Well, because they're little. Yeah, they're little too, so they don't have the height clearance like the uh, woodpeckers or jays. 
Um, and again, that one has a lot more food coming out of it. Um, I'm surprised to see so many in the snow. And then here's our second one, our taller one. Uh, not as many birds. And that's possibly because one with it being taller, there I can see some snow building up on the snow side. Um, and then there's not as much food pouring out. Which I feel like will be better year round. Um, but just for right now, since we do have a lot of birds, more food is better. So most of the birds are at the one that has a lot of food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could count n about nine or so bird. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that one. Ten. It keeps coming over and hanging out, but every time it sees me looking at it, it goes away. Can't look at it very good. I think so. All the dog smudges. Dog art on the windows. Yep. But well, we got about a dozen or so, whatever these little birds are. Um, swallows, finch, tits. I don't know. I ain't a bird person. Just little birds. Yeah, we like them. We just don't. <laughs> yeah. Just don't know the names of them. And they all seem to be the same breed species. They all have the same coloring. Of mostly gray with a little bit of brown on their backs. Except for that one. Whoa. I haven't seen that one before. Oh, it's. Oh no, there it is. Look at its head. It's white with black lines. Oh yeah, he's been around too. Not as much as the normal yeah. ones. Huh. Maybe that's a male and these are all females? I don't know, but he also normally shows food? up when uh, the woodpeckers show up. A lot of times he'll show up with the woodpeckers. Hmm. 